Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. With Scar here, bringing you another super rough awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we are going to be adding a little more detail to our structure, making these supports a little more beefy. They're a little scrawny, and I think we can do a little bit better on our glass scarish modified pyramid structure. So let's get started in today's build. All right, down on the mainland, and we're taking a look at what we're going to be working on in today's episode. Now, these are a little bit, yeah, they're okay, but I think we can do better. We can make a more grand entrance into our, ah, well, hello there, Mr. Dog. What are you doing up there? Oh, all right. You just nodded at me, but we'll continue. So I took an opportunity to kind of play around with the arch on this side. So let's take a little look at what we're going to do on the other side. Just take a little look here. And you can see it's a little bit different. It's a little wider. It's got a nicer presence to it, I think. And the best part is it's got this uh, little glass thing in the middle. Kind of see, see there. It's kind of cool. So that's what we're going to work on. And we're also going to beef up the outside a little bit. Let's go through the trees and out through the tunnel of the trees. And you can see on this side, which is complete, the two pillars there are, are uh, doubled, so they're a little bit thicker. And there's a bigger band that goes across there, making it have a little bit more of a presence. It looks like, you know, the glass is attached to something, whereas before, you know, I don't know. It's hard. I'm trying to find the right word, but I think, I think this uh, enhancement will make quite a difference in our structure, make it look a little cooler. So let's jump over here and head up our ladder and start we're going to start up top and then we'll make our way down to the entrances to structure so we have our minecraft entrance there and i mean i said mine car minecraft i think i said mine carved hmm. well we have it in our highway in the sky path here we'll work on that all right so let's start up top first well hello there cats how are you all doing good 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 you know, I think in this recent snapshot, they finally fixed the bug with the cats and dogs jumping up and, you know, where they would spawn at your, behind you or something. And if you were up high on your mine car track or something like that, they would all die. But I think they fixed it because I haven't had any of those incidents recently. All right, there we go. So we're up top here. And what we're going to do first is to clear the slate. So we're going to remove this layer of smooth stone. And then we'll go, I believe, one layer also down into the glass, so we'll remove that. And we'll do the same on this side. Now, one good thing is I have, I believe I have my silk touch thing, so we can uh, save our... Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> we'll be saving that one. But give me a second here, let me clear the slate, and then we'll start our building. All right, there we go. Now I cleared the slate here, so we're ready to start our project. So let's see here. We're gonna beef this up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that too high. So it'll be two blocks high. And then on that block there, we will be making it, oh, have that piece that sticks out just a little bit. So let's just make a loop there. And I forgot to mention that we'll also make this pillar that goes down. That support that goes straight down. We'll double that up and make that a little thicker. So, ooh, ooh, almost fell off. All right, so let's proceed. There we go. So we'll just do this across here. And this, I think this is gonna make the structure just look a little bit better. You know, and a funny thing recently, I was looking around at the top of the pyramid and I was thinking, you know, whatever happened to Minecraft's clouds? And I was thinking, wait a second, they, where are they? They're gone. And then I realized, wait a second, there's a menu option. So for all this time, I've been wondering whatever happened to the clouds, and I realized, oh, there's a menu option. So some point along the line in a recent snapshot or something that it must have got switched off, and I just completely forgot about it. So now I have my clouds again. It adds a lot to it, I think. It was, it was sure missing those clouds. Kind of weird. So we're just moving along up here. It's such a great view from up here. Looking down, I need to build something um, on top of the tree so you can get a good view from going up there. But we'll we'll do that in time. 
So it's coming across here. Oops, let's see. We got more? Yeah, good. I don't want to lose I don't want to run out of smooth stone up here. It's a long way down. It's a long ways. I need to train one of my dogs or cats to bring me supplies. Oh, that's a great idea. I have a new idea. Wouldn't it be cool? Just, just had this crazy idea. If you could have like uh, saddlebags for your dogs or whatever, you could put supplies in them. But it would kind of be bad if they fell off a cliff and died and all your supplies went with them. But that's the risk you must take. But if you know you were moving to a new house or something, and oops, we need to grab some more smoothing stone. But if you were moving to a new house of some sort and you didn't want to make a lot of trips, you could just get a couple of your dogs loaded up and ready to go, put some saddlebags on them. It'd be great. Maybe you could slow them down a little bit and they could like huff and puff. It'd be funny. Gotta be almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. I believe that is a great idea. Now we just need to come for something for our cats to do. Cats aren't much for the lifting things or doing much of anything. There we go. Just being awesome. All right, almost across. Here we go. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, I can feel it. I'm in, my back's gonna hit. Oops. Need to grab that. There we go. Haha, -ha, some sweet Minecraft acrobatics there. Oh, good. We're almost there. Nice. So let's just jump up here like that. And come across here, and I believe we've got almost there, almost there. Come on. There we go. Awesome. All right, so let's shoot over here real quick. And then we'll finish up this side over here in the super fast build mode. So. Oh, sorry. Got a little tongue tied there for a second. So we're going to jump over here. We're going to add our support pillars down there and then we'll do this part over here in super fast build mode activate the super fast build mode All right, there we go. End of super fast build mode. Now we're going to make this column a little thicker. So let's see here. Let's knock out our glass here with our silk touch. There we go. Let's get the clear of the way. Clear the way. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to double this up. Excuse me, dog. Excuse me. Out of the way. Come on. Get out of the way. Come on. Move. Come on. There you go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on. Get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I almost had to reach into my inventory for something sharp. Just kidding. All right. There we go. So let's just head up here like so. Now I'm hoping soon, soon Wally, you know, Wally, my brother from uh, Good Times with Wally and Scarf. Got to do some more of those videos, but I'm hoping that when he makes a visit coming soon, he will be able to do a new series with me with Minecraft, where I'm hoping to maybe uh, teach him how to play Minecraft while he's here. I think it might be a kind of a fun, uh, I should do this with my silk touch, but I think it might be a fun series at having uh, Wally who knows nothing of the mining and the crafting and I could teach him and he can make some jokes along the way. I think it might be kind of a funny series. So definitely look out for that if he's willing to do it. I hope he is. I'm sure he will. 
Hopefully he has time while he's making his visit over the 4th of July holiday. Coming up here. Almost up. There we go. And I think this is just going to make our structure just look amazing once it's done. It's always good to, once you've completed something, take a little bit and just stare at it for a little bit and think, how could I make this structure just a little bit better? And that's what I did. I knew there was something I could do better. And let's see, let's just finish this to here. Let's just make a little point, a little sidecar there. Finish up there, and I think that's good. I think we've got a nice little pillar there. And with our feather landing, we will land with grace. There we go. So, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. So let's do the other side, and then we will start to address our entrances into the structure. So coming through, coming through, excuse me, coming through. So let's just finish up this side over here. So let me just finish up this one real quick and I'll be right back. All right, there we go, mission accomplished. We've got our giant pillars now built. So now let's turn our attention to the entrances to the glass cube. And that's where we're gonna jazz those up a little bit with our smooth stone, but with the fancy brick inlays or whatever they call them. So let's just pop over here. And that dog is still on that hedge. All right, so let's see here. I believe we're going to go about eight high and we're going to remove this center piece. So let's just knock that out with our efficiency. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We go like that. So we're going to go, I believe, eight high. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's eight. So let's just jump down here and let's do the same on this side. And then I believe I will remove that center column and we'll put the glass blocks there. So this is what I like to do, like I was talking about earlier before we went into the build mode was that the best way to make your structures even better is to be willing to knock them down if you have to is to say, I built this, but I think it might look better if I did something different. And just not be afraid to knock down your buildings. It's what I do all the time with some of my structures is I think I can do something a little bit better and I'm willing to just knock it out. I think that's a good, good lesson in building is don't be afraid to break your work and to do something different. It's like in painting, Sometimes I get real scared when I'm painting that, oh man, if I mess this up, I might not be able to be able to ever do it again. And that's not a good way to learn art or things like that. And you can apply that to your Minecraft building is to not be afraid to mess up. You can always do it again. Okay, there we go. And let's see, next step here is to knock that off. And to make, uh, let's see, we need to grab a little bit more dirt. There we go. And we'll just go right here like that. There we go. And we're going to need to put a solid block in the center so the panes have something to grab onto. They can't grab onto the steps because they are kind of notched like that. Okay, grab that. Whoops. Grab it in there like that. Let's see. Oh, um,. Did I just put down a block and it disappeared? Huh, very strange. Minecraft is very glitchy these days with their, with their uh, server side or whatever they're calling it now. Or with the server running in the background. Not a fan, not a fan at all. Oh, that's right, I put in a solid block there. My mistake, my mistake. There we go. Now let's just finish that up. So see I put how I put that on there because the panes need something to grab onto. But of course I forgot right there. So let's fill that in like so. And there we go. I believe that's good. So let's jump down here. Preferably in the water, but no, no, no. And try to jump in the water. See, oh, oh my gosh. Come on, Scar. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. You're making a video. No, no time for swimming. Okay, there we go. 
So let's just make a little scaffolding here so we can uh, jump up there and correct a few mistakes. Let's grab our shovel, knock that out, clear that, bring that down to right about there, and grab our blocks, our glass blocks. Down one more, and there we go. Why does my dog sound like he's dying? Dog, knock that out. Okay, there we go. Finish up this. All right, coming down, coming down. After I add the... Oops, ah, mistakes, mistakes. There we go. And yeah, I think that's good. Let's see, let's see, something's still not 100% right. You know, I think I'm going to go like that. Knock that out, like that. Now I'm gonna have to correct that later. There's a panes missing there, so I'll correct that later. There we go, because we need to do one more of these. Oh yeah, I think that looks much better. So let's just come in here real quick, add a little bit more decorative detail. Like so. Let's see, let's see, that's not correct. That was not correct at all. There we go. And we'll just add that like that. Come in there. There we go. Knock that out. I'm gonna make little steps um, later on right here to go down into the path. Be a little, like, there'll be a little walkway off here, but I'll do that a little bit later. There we go. Now let's do the same on this side. Come up there, and there. There we go, sweet. So let's go over to our other side and add our, uh oh, I hear, I hear a zombie somewhere. Where was that? Well, we'll keep a weather eye open for any zombie activity. Oh, there he is, there he is, Mr. Zombie. You wanna, do you wanna deal with Uncle Scar here? I don't think so. Yeah, go swimming. Go play in the pool. Go play in the pool. Yeah, go, go enjoy your time in there. All right, so let's do this in super fast build mode. we go end of super fast build mode so i thought we'd take a little walk here take a little look at our finished product here and there we go that's one of the entrances leading into the mother tree tree farm and yeah oh, oh geez skeleton so we'll just walk over here we'll just leave him be in his skeleton endeavors he undertakes so yeah so we have our nice archway over here leading into the tree farm i think it came out pretty good so it's like I said earlier, is it's good to always think about how you can make something just a little bit better and be willing to knock down what you've created to create something even better. And well, let's jump up onto our little platform and take a little overview of how the tree farm looks now with some of its new additions. All right, taking a look at our handiwork in today's episode, and you can see the new and improved Scarish Modified Pyramid looming in the distance there. And I think our additions we added today really added a lot to our structure. So definitely tell me what you guys think of our new improved looking structure. And in the next episode, we're gonna move our attention into the tree and start building some rooms in there. We need to build our sapling storage room and things like that. I think it'll be pretty cool. So I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe this video deserved a rating, it would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.